Yes, Dr. Kavya of the Congress is also joining us. Dr. Kavya, uh, you know, we are having this discussion on a day that two women, uh, two unfortunate incidents have come to light yes. from Hyderabad. Uh, you know, it appears that urban spaces are becoming more unsafe for women. Why are we not able to protect or save our girls? I think there are many faces for this uh, uh, issue which we have been facing since many decades actually. It is the social aspect, uh, uh, the boy and the girl, they should be uh, shown equality from the uh, childhood itself, from their home itself. And then there should be social awakening, that is the women, they should get much respect and then they should get their priorities right. And uh, they should also have financial independence. Just now, our uh, one of the ma'am uh, who mentioned about the financial independence. Yes. And also, it is not at the level of rural or something, or tribal areas, but it is also in metropolitan cities where women are harassed at their workplaces or even after the work. Uh, uh, like for women or for any girl, starting from the female feticide yes. uh, till her uh, old age, she is very susceptible to many things happening around her. It could be mental uh, violence or uh, physical violence or any mental harassment, anything. She will be facing throughout her life. It is her that should, uh, she should be strong enough to face this. And even she should get uh, enough uh, uh, encourage, encouragement and support and independence from her own family members. Then only get, she can survive in the society. So the support has to come all round. But if there are crimes happening outside of their homes, uh, then what can be done? This, uh, woman. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, not just the legislative uh, things. Yes. It should be also social education. Uh, the society has to change a lot. The society, ma uh, societal masses, this, uh, they should change a lot. They should protect their girl child right from the uh, early life. That is, these uh, children, at every stage of their life, women are experiencing uh, uh, much abuses, uh, be it yes. uh, child abuse or sexual abuse or anything, she'll be facing it right from uh, rape is not uh, just from 15 to 50 years or something like that. I've seen it uh, up to 80 years of uh, old women also yes. getting raped or uh, the rape uh, uh, person who is uh, committing the rape might be her own father. So girl is not protected in any way either from her family or anything because yes. we have seen these issues even in our state or in any other places. Okay. So if all round uh, uh, improvement and all round, uh, all round uh, education is always needed. After the Nirbhaya incident, uh, then there was this <coughs> entire emphasis on speedy justice that there should be fast tracking of cases as well. Where are we headed? Uh, but yes. nothing seems to be changing much because that fear of law isn't there somehow. Yes, yes. Actually, this women's safety, whatever the acts that are imposed right now, they should never be uh, a party, uh, election slogan. It should be a continuous process where women should be uh, safeguarded uh, because we are three children, three girl ch uh, children from, uh, for my father. We don't have any brothers. So my parents, they safeguarded us, uh, they protected us. But in every family, if they see such incidents of happening, uh, uh, suicides or homicides that are happening right now or uh, the murders that are taking place, they will uh, go back and say, uh, just sit at home and be uh, safe. That's enough for you. Mm. Because in India now, women need to come uh, forward in every aspect, in every area. So such instances will uh, uh, make uh, the parents feel vulnerable about their child. So I feel these fast track courts, they should work very uh, sincerely and effectively around the clock and give justice so that the other, uh, the other persons who uh, are thinking of cr uh, committing such crimes, they should uh, step back and then uh, uh, the society should be a little uh, more comfortable and care. Uh, secured uh, for the women who are stepping out of their houses for a better uh, life which they have dreamt Absolutely. Uh, since many years.